It's a mystery. I've got a mystery box. What's inside? I hope it's not a severed head. Hey everybody, it's Johnny Seed here again and I've got a mystery box today. So I got a message the other week from my good friend Paul. Uh, not the same Paul who gave me the uh, the records and CDs last time. I've got another friend, Paul. In fact, I've got a lot of friends called Paul. In fact, uh, my friends list is a bit like the wedding from Goodfellas. <laughs> Everyone's called Paulie. Uh, or Mark, funny enough. Uh, I think I must have about 12 people called Mark that I know. Anyway, that's besides the point. Uh, so he said, I'm having a clear out. Do you want some CDs? And I was like, absolutely, yes. Uh, Paul's been one of my best friends for years. And uh, we share a lot of the same music. Sorry, that was Mark just running past me. Uh, and we share a lot of the same music tastes. And I respect his musical tastes uh, immensely in fact he's been sending me compilation tapes for years and uh, opening me up opening my mind up to new music uh, for as long as I've known him so uh, I'm sure in this box is going to be some absolute treats although he did send a, a follow-up message uh, a bit of a, a caveat or a get out clause he said um, won't be all to your taste some comedy moments I'm sure mm, okay uh, it's been a long time since I've shuffled through them all right okay and he says uh, they may be uh, feel free to mock any particularly awful albums <laughs> uh, a couple of his wives may have slipped in there so yeah he's gonna blame anything uh, bad on his wife <laughs> right so I shall put this box on this chair here now I have not had a look inside I got absolutely no idea what is in here only that it's CDs and it is and then it is filled with CDs so there is quite a few so this might take a while I'll try not to linger too long on any of them individually I'll go in there blind and have a bit of a lucky dip and see what we've got Oh my god, the loads. Right, so this first one feels like a double, and it is the Brits 1991, is that? <laughs> okay, mm, interesting. Brits 1991. Uh, compilation, The Magic of British Music. All right, so uh, what's on here? Elton John, Jane O'Connor, George Michael, Whitney Houston, Beautiful South. Okay, yeah, so it looks like kind of the best of 1991. Um, Prince, Thieves in the Temple, yep, yeah, uh, in excess. Uh, you can see what's on the back of there. Yeah, fairly good stuff. Um, double album, oh, Groovies in the Heart, that's good. Uh, doing the Do, excellent. So the first one seems to be more sort of pop and rock, and the second disc is, oh no, it's all over the place. It's got the Happy Mondays on here. There She Goes by the Lovers. Uh, great, one of my all-time favorite songs, which I don't think I've forgotten any physical media. That's, a, that's an instant win. Um, B-52's Love Shack, yeah, Lisa Stansfield, Live Together, don't know that one, Talk Talk, Life's What You Make It is good. So, Nana Cherry, best of 1991, it looks like, from, from Das Brits. Okay, so, uh, off the top here we have uh, 20 Massive Hits, it's awesome, exclamation mark. <laughs> Another compo, what do we have on here, Vanilla Ice, Ice Ice Baby, yep. <laughs> Just but you said comedy moments, you went wrong. Uh, in a room, um, wiggle it. The KLF, the area maternal, fantastic, cool. This is uh, an EMI compilation. The farm, all together now. The farm. The Lars, there she goes. So um, yeah, I've gone from having no versions of that song on physical media to having two in, in the space of a minute. Uh, Jesus Jones, okay, Popoli itself, uh, X, Y, and Z. Dream Warriors, a tribe called Quest. This is this is uh, is actually is awesome. Um, someone's uh, done a, a good job compiling this black box, not so crazy about tongue in cheek, uh, forget me not, don't know that one, MC Hammer, you can't touch this, Kim Appleby, The Beloved, good, 808 States, Cubic, good, Yazoo, uh, Rock Set, Dress for Success and The Beautiful South, so that's a very eclectic mix there isn't it, and uh, I didn't show it, I forgot to show the actual disc in the last one, so there's a disc of It's Awesome, and uh, yeah, it is awesome. Pretty good. Uh, what year was that? Um, 1991 again. So, so look. Uh, yeah, there's there's your brick disc. I'll show you that. Right. Uh, well, before we can, before we start, or before we carry on and get any further, I'm going to have a drink. Now, if you've seen my uh, advent calendar, beer adventure, beer advent calendar video, uh, you know that I've got some ale in the house, so I'm going to have one of these. I'm going to have this uh, stout, <laughs> this uh, surreal stout dark arts hazelnut. I am looking forward to this one ever since I unboxed it. Uh, I will. Mm -hmm. This one pour. 
Oh shit! Oh, I'm gonna have to. <laughs> I have to wipe that up. Hang on a sec. A bit of mess. Right, let's try that again, shall we? I'll help make as uh, much of a mess. <clears throat> right, let's go. Okay. Uh, pouring, pouring, pouring. Remember the angle, right? Uh, okay. Right. Oh, here we go. Uh, got flaked now. <laughs> well, it smells good anyway. Oh. Ah, oh, smells great. Cheers. Hazelnut stout. One of my favourite things in the world. Never had this one before though. Uh, Salt Brewery used to do a really good one. I don't know if they still do, but that was one of my favourite beers, so. Oh yes, that's good. I like that. A lot. Right, back to the CDs. Okay, uh, next up we have Franz Ferdinand. Okay, I've never heard this album. Obviously very familiar with the band. They're still going, Franz Ferdinand. Remember them? They were a big deal once, weren't they? Um, you could have it so much better. The album. I'm not familiar with this album. Um, what was the singles they had? In fact, I probably couldn't name the singles if they were on here. Um, no, no. But I remember them being good. So yeah, excellent. Uh, there's the seed. E C D. Okay. <coughs> Uh, no Doubt, okay, never heard this one either. Um, no Doubt, uh, Tragic Kingdom. Uh, it's got the single Don't Speak and Just Together, which I'm familiar with, but I don't know, know the rest of the album. It's uh, Gwen Stefani, when she was still... No Doubt, they were kind of a, what were they, what were they, what would you call them? Indie? Punk? Post-punk? Indie? They weren't pop, were they? They were kind of a bit more, a bit more kind of, I don't know, cred about them? before Gwen left and obviously coined in making uh, pop hits. <laughs> oh, no doubt, all right. Uh, da, 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 da. We have Turing Breaks, the Optimist LP. Don't know it, don't know it. I remember the name Turing Breaks and that's about as much as I know. <laughs> uh, not heard this album, I don't think. Uh, just looking on the back of here, nothing's leaping out, but um, all right, I'll take Paul's word for it. Okay, I uh, don't even know what style of music it is. Uh, next in the box we have um, Black Grape. <laughs> okay, this is a CD single. Love a bit of Black Grape. Uh, England's Irie, featuring Joe Strummer and Keith Allen. All right, was this a football related one? 399. Uh, I don't know if this was a World Cup song or anything. Um, but you know, I wouldn't be surprised if Keith Allen's involved and it's got the word England in it. So there's the actual CD. And another one here Doves, Lost Souls. Don't know it. Remember the, heard the band, but I don't know the album. There it is, the Dovays. Look at that, 4 for 20. So I guess this was, uh, what year was this? 1999. And, uh, next up. Okay, uh, Moby. Go, play, sorry. <laughs> Moby, play. I did have this on CD at one point. Um, not sure if it was an original one or not, or as a uh, rip or, yeah, so. Yep, uh, Moby, whatever happens to Moby? He was huge, wasn't he? And then he wasn't. <laughs> yeah, some. Um, this will be a, a trip down in memory lane. Back to front. Oops. There you go. Alright. Uh, what's this one? There's a light that never goes out. Okay, this is a cover disc, indie classics from 82 to 87 from um, Mojo Magazine. Excellent stuff, okay, right. Felt, The Weather Prophets, hurrah. Uh, the Wooden Tops, Close Lobsters, Nightingales, Flatmates, Flatmates The Go-Betweens, Billy Bragg, Martin Stevenson and the Dainties, uh, I've heard of those. Television Personalities, The Lars again. Uh, not, uh, there she goes, another one, Open Your Heart. The Blue Aeroplanes, The Dentists and The Chesterfields. Right, some proper hardcore indie there. 80s indie. That'll be an interesting listen, actually. I'm not. Uh, the, 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 some of these names sound familiar, but I don't know the songs, so 
This will be an edumacation. And that is uh, from the excellent film Kaz. I've never seen such slack work in my life. I've never seen such slack work in my life. What's that for, sir? Slack work, lad, slack work! Casper! Uh, Casper! We watched that at school. How <laughs> impressing is that? <laughs> Alright, uh, ah, I'll change cast. I already have this. Brilliant album, one of my favourite albums of the 90s. Um, what is this? This is. Uh, what does that say? This is real by Shan Shan Shim Nope Nope and another Nope. Who is this? Who is this? Shai Sheathen Shim. This is real. Um, right, mystery disc. I don't know. Can anyone pronounce that word? Shai Heim. Shai Heim. <laughs> Probably mangling that. Who is it? Who is this? I need to see it written down in a proper font that I can read. Uh, ah, right, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to Googleize this and see who it is, because uh, I, I don't like to not know who it is that I'm referring to. Right, so I will, uh, this is real, uh, is by Shyheim. All right, Shyheim, oh Shyheim, don't know, or him, or her. Next up, uh, the Blues Breakers, 15 classic tracks from Mojo magazine, unsealed, uh, unopened. Um, I know Paul is a, a big fan of the magazine Mojo. Uh, he gets it every month still, and uh, we always have a joke and say, uh, who is on the cover this, this month? Is it Pink Floyd or the Beatles? <laughs> or Led Zeppelin. Uh, so this is 15 classic tracks as covered by Eric Clapton. All ah, right, so well, these are the originals of songs that Eric Clapton has covered. Uh, Otis Rush, Willie May and Big, Willie May, Big Mama Thornton, Little Walter, Big Bill Brunzi, Elmore James, Arthur Big Boy Crudup. Uh, I'll just try and uh, get that on there. So you could have a bit of a pause and a read. Robert Johnson, Skip James, Howling also some blues, classic blues. This is a much needed addition to my collection. Uh, because, yeah, it's a bit of an area that I'm not, um, well, I am familiar with, but I wouldn't say I had a, you know, a, a working knowledge of, of original blues. That's so good. That's so good. Okay. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Garbage. Version 2.0. This is the album with, is this uh, garbage, the band garbage? As in, I'm only happy when it rains, I guess so. Temptation waits, I think I'm paranoid when I grow up, medication special, all right. Very minimalist looking packaging. Version 2.0, this is very 90s, isn't it? Um, again, with more writing on it, look, look, I mean, how are you supposed to read that, really? Really, honestly. You need a microscope. What was this one? Uh, no. Nope. Oh yeah. Okay. So yes, it is the band Garbage. And this is. Uh, there you go. Uh, who is this? <laughs> uh, De Rosa Mend. Have I have I read that correctly? Um, De Rosa Mend. Okay. Don't know it. I've never heard this one. Paul, you've been, I've been hiding this music from you for all these years. <laughs> um, De Rosa Mend. Don't know anything about it. Have you heard of De Rosa Mend? Um, I have not. Ooh, that should be an interesting listen then. There's the, the disc. We want a stack. Where are we now? Okay, so, um, who dis? Who dis? <gasps> no way! Paul! You sure? You sure, mate? You, like, you sure this hasn't just fallen in by mistake? Um, you just give me one of your Elliot Smith CDs. No way. Uh, XO. One I didn't have on CD. So, uh, well, cheers. Uh, I, I don't know. Do you want this back? <laughs> um, unbelievable. One of the greatest albums of all time. Ever made. And one of my favourites by one of my favourite artists of all time. 
I'm blown away. I'm absolutely over the moon. Cheers, XO. Uh, if you don't know this album and you like music, then you are missing out on an experience. There's not a bad track on it. Uh, well, I noticed that because he's my favourite songwriter of all time. Um, yeah, just 14 absolutely unbelievable tracks. Check them out now. Cheers, Paul. Cheers. Ah, oh, right. All right, this is a slim one. This is a um, Dario G. Sunshine. <laughs> what? Sunshine? Sunshine. Dario G. Sunshine. Don't know it. News to me. That is how it. That is what it says there, isn't it? Sunshine. I guess it sounded. You know, it must have been a good idea at the time to call it that. Maybe I am familiar. I'll, I'll give some of these a, a spin. Supergrass. Ah, okay. Excellent band. I don't know this album. Or do I? Which one is this? Uh, oh, it's got moving on it. Yeah, okay. Um, so is this their last album? Uh, it's a album. It's a, a Supergrass album. I don't like that front cover. Does that do anything? That's some sort of... Uh, is it, it's just a photograph. Is it doing anything? It's not lenticular, is it? Yeah, didn't they sort of go a bit serious at some point? Or am I make, make, making that up? Because they were like a fun pop band, weren't they? You, the sort of band that you'd never think would need to sort of take themselves seriously, but... There you go. Supergrass. Uh, we're nowhere near halfway. <laughs> So this might be a bit of a long one. Right, another single. Uh, Alright, Bruce Springsteen, Streets of Philadelphia. I'm guessing the city, not the cheese. <laughs> Alright, I can't say I'm a massive Bruce Springsteen fan. Uh, you know, um, of course, Born in the USA is alright. Um, what's that other one? I'm on fire. It's probably my favourite Bruce Springsteen song. Oh, and um, you know, Born to Run is good. And some of the other ones he did. What was that one that he did? Uh, Blinded by the Light. He wrote that one, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Yes, that's a good song. But uh, in general, I would not particularly say I was a massive Bruce Springsteen fan. He's not the boss of me. Put it that way. Right. Next, uh, this looks familiar. Uh, this is the Lightning Seeds Joyification. Uh, yeah, this is the one with Lucky You on it. And perfect, change why, 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 marvellous, etc, etc. So yeah, the lightning seeds from uh, Liverpool. Okay. I think they played in Blackpool. He played in Blackpool a couple months ago. Um, next up. Uh, what's that? What's that? Ocean Colour Scene. David Call the Train, a classic. That's a bit of Britpop. It's okay. I quite like that. Not bad. Very, uh, very mid nineties. And uh, Jack Johnson. Who he? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, Brushfire Fairy Tales is the name of the album by Jack Johnson. I don't think I know. He won a Brit Award in two thousand and six. There you go. That's maybe why I don't know who he is. Um, none of these names on song names on the back here ring any bells, so I will find out who he is when I hear it. Mm. Nutty, the bravery. Do you know the bravery? Uh, it's a special edition uh, with parental guidance, parental parental guidance on it. The bravery. I don't know the bravery, and I don't recognise any of those songs. What's the inside? So, any ideas? Do you know them? Are they good? Are they not? I'm sure they're fine. White Town. Abort, retry, fail, your woman. Ah, four track CD single from Woolies. 
<laughs> Look at that vintage sticker. One pound ninety-nine. <laughs> Probably from the Woolies in Cleveland, I should imagine. Uh, don't know it. Don't know it. Who is White Town? But White Town that does sound a little bit. That does ring a bell. Uh, but let me try and fail. So I don't know if I know this one. Um, I will spin it and then let you know if I've heard it before. Um, personality. Uh, who's this? Who's this? Who is that? That is uh, the Sleepy Jackson. The Sleepy Jackson. Personality. No, don't know. Never heard those words in, in that order before. <laughs> or have I? Uh, was there a big hit on here? I'm, I'm, I'm not remembering. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ooh, where are we now? Yeah, let's spin that round. I like the design, I like the colour scheme and everything. Looks very slick. Uh, one was spider, one was bird. Don't know it. What year was that? I can't see. But Sleepy Jackson, here we go. And this is um, Embrace, drawn from memory. All right, yeah. Uh, some might say a pound shop oasis, Embrace, but I think they had some good songs. They had a couple of really big hits, didn't they? Um, and I don't think any are on this album. <laughs> None that I'm listening to. Come back to what you know is there, was there, wasn't it? That was a good song. I like that a lot. Uh, love is the love it takes. You're not alone. Save me. Drawn from memory. Bunk song. No, I don't know that one. So this is probably an album that came out after their one with all the hits on it. And it was two for 20 at this point. So you can sort of, we can trace the evolution of how cheap CDs were getting. Um, so yeah, 14 quid. If you just buy it on its own, or you can get two for 20. Who's not gonna get two for 20? And uh, the Rasmus. Oh, right, yeah, okay. I've heard of the Rasmus. I've heard the name anyway. Not sure if I know the another special edition one. I'm not sure if I know the album or what they're like. Uh, what they not? Is this not heavy, heavy rock, Paul? Is this not, I didn't think it was uh, your bag, heavy, heavy metal, or am I getting them mixed up with someone else? The Rasmus. Uh, I'm trying to see if I, uh, any of these song titles are leaping out at me, but no, no, 2004. Boop, 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 boop. Green, R.E.M. Ah, one of Paul Sobey bands, I know that. I'm surprised you've uh, given up your R.E.M. CDs. Uh, I have a bit of a kind of a, a mixed feelings about R.E.M. I kind of, uh, there's some tracks of theirs which I think are fantastic and I really like, but I don't know, there's something about the band which have never really grabbed me. Um, although I do do like a lot of their songs, which is weird. I don't know, I think it might be just Michael Stipe, I don't know. <laughs> but I've never really dug deep into their albums, I've only really heard the singles, um, like I say, a lot of them I, I like, you know, so I wouldn't say I dislike R.E.M. Then, then again, I wouldn't really say I was a big fan, so maybe this might uh, might change my mind. So, which is the bigger stand is, uh, is a, the single on here, I know that one. Um, Orange Crush, I know that one. Turn your inside out, hair shirt. Right, so yeah, maybe. Maybe this will change my mind about R.E.M. Right, probably about halfway now. And oh, Fat Boy Slim. Uh, do you like a bit of Fat Boy Slim? Uh, you come a long way, baby. Uh, right here, right now, Rockefeller Skank. This is the classic album. The classic Big Beat album. From Fat Boy Slim. And there you go. And this is the one, this is the album with, uh, is it Rockefeller Skank? That's got the MC Tunes sample on it at the beginning. Um, I went to see a Q&A with MC Tunes. He, uh, he came to the place I work and uh, did a Q&A, um, a live sort of show uh, with um, Terry Christian, believe it or not. I don't know if I've told you this story before. Um, I've got, it's on video, I filmed it and it's on my other channel. I'll put a link to it if anyone's interested. It's very, 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 very worthwhile to watch. It's quite long, but it's worth watching. He's a very fantastic, fascinating person. He's got some good stories. Uh, but he never got paid for this uh, because he didn't return the form. <laughs> he didn't return the uh, copyright release form that, uh, that said that they could use his samples, so they used it anyway, and he, and he ended up not getting paid. So, unfortunately for tunes, uh, he didn't get any money, and it has turned out to be one of the biggest albums of the decade, probably, <laughs> that it came out in.
Right, uh, next up uh, we have Cherry Ghost. Uh, thirst for Romance. Cherry Ghost, don't know. Not familiar with them words. Looks interesting though. Whoops! The surprise attack CD. Alright, no, don't know Cherry Ghost. God knows what is hiding in that weak and drunken heart. Um, who's that? Scott Mathers? Scott Matthews. Scott Matthews singing, uh, what'd be Passive Stranger? I think I can just about make out that handwriting. Don't know who this person is. Am I actually reading that right? Uh, no, okay, don't know. Was he in a band? Do I know him? Am I being an idiot? No bells are ringing. What's next? What's that? The long... The long cut? Nope, not ringing any bells. The long cut. Who, who he? Ah, don't know. Don't know, and I can't read the name. A call and response. Anybody heard of the long cut? Um, last Acts of Desperate Men, Gravity and Crisis, Holy Funk, Spires. Don't know it, don't know it. Well, I, I'm going to assume it's going to be good though, so. I'm going to be busy, aren't I? Um, Ryan Adams. <laughs> oh, you had to do it to me, didn't you, Paul? So, what was the long standing. Um, yeah, I've never got into Ryan Adams. Okay, so I've got two very, very good close friends of mine called Paul, um, and they are both big, big fans of Ryan Adams. And I never, never joined in, and I, I don't know why. Maybe, maybe this will, I mean, maybe I'll, I'll give this a spin. I've heard a lot of his stuff because I used to have to, I have to listen to it because I mean, I've shared flats with both these people and they've played endless Ryan Adams, and I just, I don't know. Maybe it's the same thing about Bruce Springsteen. But uh, you know, I will give it. I will give this a listen, and maybe it will change my mind. Uh, this is the Rock and Roll album by Ryan Adams. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah. Who knows? Who knows? I will. I will uh, inform you all of my uh, final opinion <laughs> based on this one album of Ryan Adams. This is not a CD. Oh, what is it? What is it? Yes, it is. Oh, it's Spiral Carpets. Oh, excellent. Now this is very interesting. Look at that, two ninety nine. From Woolies again. Another Woolies one. This is a CD single. Now, interestingly enough, I saw it in Spiral Carpets uh, vinyl 12 inch in the charity shop. I will uh, insert the footage here. And as you can see, it was going for £15, uh, which I thought was quite a steep price. And I looked it up, and that was actually quite cheap for that. This is from 1992 as well on Moot. So, uh, on Mute. <laughs> so, yeah, in Spiral Carpets, dragging me down. Can't say I know the song off the top of my head. Uh, it's also got on here I Know I'm Losing You, Dragging Me Down, uh, the Pascal Gabriel Extended Mix, and Dragging Me Down, the John Da Silva Remix. All right, okay, cheers, Paul. And next cast, ah, Mother Nature Crawls. I've not heard this album. Uh, do like a cast, as I have previously stated, uh, features the hit single Free Me and 11 and 10 others. There's the back. Okay, John Power, very good songwriter. He was, of course, in the Lars. Little, little bit. Next, um, another Ryan Adams. Ah, yes. So yes, he's uh, yes, he's definitely trying to get me into listening to Ryan Adams. Um, uh, Love is Hell, Part One. 
Okay. Right. Uh, not far off now. Who is this? The Beloved. Sweet Harmony. Fantastic track. Know it or like it. Oops. A bit of uh, Dream Pop. Hello, Mo. Oh, there you go. Mention of the Beloved and Mo makes an appearance. Come on then. Come on. Right. Say hello. Say hello, Mo. No? Okay. Cool. Right. So, we're going to be joined by Mo. You won't be able to see him because I'm all that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, what? What do you mean Ryan Adams is shit? I don't know if definite. I mean, he might be. I mean, I never really liked him, but... Well, I mean, well he's shit. Okay, all right. But he's shit. Well, Mo doesn't like Ryan Adams either. Right. Next up. From the box, uh, Oasis. I think if you can see that, oops, da -da -da. Uh, another Woolies. I guess he's both spent a lot of times. Um, whatever, two, it's good to be fine. Whatever, two, it's good to be fine. Sorry, I misread that completely. Uh, yes, this is a whatever. An absolute classic. Oh, this is a double. No, it's not. This is not double. It's just two stuck together. And it is. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, no name. Who's that? Uh, Seth Lakeman. <laughs> Funny enough, <laughs> my other other friend Paul <laughs> knows Mr. Seth Lakeman. Uh, well, he knows his. I think his wife is. I don't know. I'm getting mixed up. He knows um, his wife's friend is friends with a guy who was in uh, one of Seth Lakeman's band, backing bands. Am I getting that right? I'm sure other Paul will correct me, but I have a, a kind of a six degrees of separation with Seth Lakeman. Friend of a friend knows him. Um, folk, folk guy? Or am I thinking of someone else? I have some sort of... One of my friends knows somebody who, who knows Seth Lakeman anyway. <laughs> I think it was folk music. Shed 7 going for gold! I finally got my hands on Shed 7! <laughs> uh, 13 top 40 hits includes Disco Down going for gold and Chasing Rainbow, the much underrated Shed 7. Told the uh, story, haven't I? Where I got him, we were at Huddersfield Uni visiting a friend, and some they were playing, and we were told that we could. Somebody knew how to sneak in. Said, "Do you want to go and see Shed Seven for free?" And we were like, "No, <laughs> it's all right." Um, but probably should have done because uh, they are they're quite a band, right? Uh, it's probably about our own. Dozen left or so. Um, Jack Johnson again, on and on. So, do I know Jack Johnson? Am I being, am I just completely like misremembering who this person is? I heard his stuff before. It's not really uh, any trumpets. No, it looks quite slick. So, this is on and on. Oh, uh, winner of the Brit Awards 2006 again. I guess they re released a lot of his stuff after his Brit Award win. That's uh, most tail. <laughs> And this is uh, Athlete. Remember Athlete? Yeah, I can remember the name of the band Athlete uh, from a couple of years ago. They were uh, they were quite a big deal, weren't they? Um, can't say I'm familiar with with the Oove. What do you mean they're really good? Well, well recommends it anyway. And back. So yeah, no, I've not heard it, but I will hear it soon. Oh, okay, so I'm getting a battery warning, just one moment. And we're back, okay. Plugged in. Alright, last couple. R.E.M. Automatic for the people. If 
compared to what I have said in the previous album. Um, Drive. Uh, trying to breathe side when I sleep tonight. I like that one. Everyone hurts. I think that's probably one of the tracks that I'm not crazy about. I think I think that's maybe the, what I don't like about Ario is he sometimes sort of lean into a little bit kind of saccharine for me. A little bit too kind of you know a bit sort of weepy kind of music. Um, but yeah, Man of the Moon. That's a really good song. I like that one. Can't fault the songwriting. All right. And down, I just felt the bottom. Oh, Oasis, another Oasis single. Uh, here we go. This one is. Ba, 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 ba. Some might say Absolute Stone Cold Classic. There's going to be some more Oasis related stuff coming up soon. Uh, recently, oh, spoiler alert for some videos coming up. I think I may have already mentioned this. I've uh, recently listened to all their stuff. So yeah, oh, it got acquiesce on it. Oh, brilliant! Aha. Uh, nice one, Paul. Cheers. Uh, one of probably my favourite. Uh, one of my favourite, anyway. Uh, Oasis songs. I actually have it uh, on its um, on its original release. <laughs> acquiesce, fan favourite. Uh, if you've never heard it, then check it out. Absolutely, check it out. Love it. Okay. And. Okay, last one, two, last three or four now. Ooh, sealed. Uh, action, 15 cult movie classics. Ooh. Okay, who is on this? We have on here, uh, oh, Razorhead, Superfly, uh, Searching for Sugarman, with that excellent song from that film, which I'm sure you've all heard of. Uh, the John Barry Orchestra, uh, Clinic Rodriguez, Curtis Mayfield, Bobby Womack, Morricone, Daniel Johnson, um, Broadcast, oh it's got the Brian Jonestown Massacre on it, which Brian Jonestown Massacre is it? Supersonic, I do like a bit of Brian Jonestown Massacre, and Donkey, David Lynch, <laughs> yep, um, In Heaven, Lady in the Radio song from, I don't know if you can just see it above my shoulder, just there from the Eraserhead soundtrack. One of the creepiest records you'll ever hear. Uh, has this got the Searching for Sugarman song on it? Has this got Sugarman on it? It should have Sugarman on it, shouldn't it? Shouldn't it, really? Uh, Werewolves on Wheels. Has he got a different name on the song, Sugarman? Well, they, they certainly wouldn't put it on the front if the song wasn't on it, and I can't see it anywhere. Uh, maybe not, I don't know. I can't seem to see it on there. Maybe I'm being stupid. Boop, boop. Doot. So, have you seen the film, Searching for Sugarman? A bit bogus, really. Spoiler alert. <laughs> he wasn't really, he didn't really vanish off the face of the earth. They're just being ignorant of the fact that he was like only famous in South Africa. You know, if we'd just done a little bit more research. I've not seen it for years, so I could be talking about my, uh... anyway, Moose. We'll be talking about my moose with another label on it. This one from um, Smiths of Kendall, 199. Ever been to Smiths of Kendall? And this is Little Bird, Are You Happy in Your Cage by Moose. I don't think I know that one. It must be quite uh, quite old. Was it 92? No, don't think I know it. Right, finally, we are down to the last three. And this one is a single, and it is uh, a trip to Trumpen, Trumpton, Urban Hype, another Woolies special, two ninety nine. There we go. Uh, don't know it. Urban Hype, trip to Trumpton. I'm guessing this. I'd, I'd say this is probably like Acid House or something, <laughs> or Dance. Suddenly. Don't know. Urban Hype. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oops. Right. Last but least, last but one is All Right Hands Part Two. Okay. Yep. Three. And finally, let's double check. This is the last one. It is uh, the Lightning Seeds again. Hey, a double. <laughs> uh, is this the same one? Joyification. Yeah. So I've got a spare. <laughs> Excellent stuff though. Right, uh, that is the empty box. 
So, thank you very much for watching, and thank you very much to Paul for donating these CDs. Uh, they will be all be listened to, I will get through them all. Uh, I might not double up and listen to them, to them twice, but I will certainly listen to them. And uh, thank you very much for watching, and we will see you all next time. Bye!